on this new Katy Perry single. Let's talk about her. So yesterday we talked a little bit about Katy Perry and she dropped her new single, which we did analyze and scrutinize at the end of the show. And, you know, uh, from what some people were saying that she was giving Lady Gaga and in, in the whole look or whatever, some people say she's like a minotaur. <laughs> I said she was giving Arca vibes. Like, Arca pretty much has kind of embodied this whole look or whatever. She does look good here. Um, I will give her that. I don't know if it's Photoshop or Ozempic, but Miss Mamas does look good, you know, especially after having a baby. I don't, is she still with Orlando Bloom? But anyway, so I mean, that's neither, neither here nor there, I guess. But, you know, she recent. so what had happened was that after we done left the show, there was some tea that came out regarding the song and who it might be produced by. Now, the word on the curve is that the song might be produced by Dr. Lou. Now, in case y'all don't know who that is, he's not an actual board certified physician. He's a producer that goes by the name Dr. Lou. Now, the why that name may sound familiar is because apparently he essayed Kesha. And that's been the thing that's been going on for a long time. So Robert did send me this thing earlier. And, I, and they said that the new song, which, what's it called again? Woman's World, which I made a little joke and said it probably, it was, she trying to, um, she remaking Cher's song <laughs> from Living Proof. So it said, the song is cut from Ava Max's second album sessions before she finalized what became Diamonds and Dance Floors. Additional production added by Dr. Luke after with Katie changing some lyrics. Now, the song was originally produced by Circuit because you know that Ava Max works with Circuit on a lot of her stuff. He has had a hand in a lot of her big hits. I actually think they dated at one point, too. But from what I'm hearing on her third album that she's working on, Circuit is no longer part of it, which I think is a big mistake because that recent single she dropped a couple of months ago was a chop. So she definitely needs to bring Circuit back or work with some better producers. Why do I keep trying to recommend S.G. Lewis to everybody? Um, you know, Nelly Furtado worked with him. Tove Lowe worked with him. Ava, you better give these good producers a call because and don't fuck with um, Dr. Luke. So I guess what it was was that the, out, the song got around. Katy Perry heard it. She wanted to rework it. And she brought in Dr. Luke, which people are saying is a bit problematic and may sabotage her career comeback because she's working with an alleged artist. So it says that it was written by Katy Perry, Madison Love, Circuit, and Amanda Ava Kochi, who, you know, goes by Ava Max, and produced by Circuit and Dr. Luke. So I believe that what it is is that it was originally produced by Circuit because it's a Katy Perry song now, because this is what happens in the business, is that songs originally even start with people, they end up on the cutting room floor if they don't work with it, and then it ends up being rotated to other people. Other artists pick it up, will take the song under their wing, see if they can work, with, um, work on it, and then it becomes their song. And you'll get the writing credits and all that other stuff, but generally it becomes your song. So another person went and wrote, um, they said, I mean, you were the one to spread around that the song was an Ava Mass reject, so I figured you probably knew for sure what this song sounded like. But, and I heard a little bit of the song. I heard a teaser. Um, I didn't think it was that good. I just thought, like, girl, this is what you're giving. Like, to me, the bigger shot for me was when um, Omar Apollo released his song, and it, it was an electro-pop song. I wasn't expecting that for him. Like I said, I was I was expecting tea from, um, like, a vibe of, like, him giving me Frank Ocean teas, or whatever the case was with his music. Like, very folk hip-hop vibes or whatever the case was, but then he went full-on, like, electro pop. I'm like, wait, where did this side of o Omar come from? Now, that was the 180 that I wasn't expecting, or 360. Which one is it? <laughs> so, um, but then I'm hearing this, so I'm like, girl, I know this is not your comeback when I heard the snippet. It sounded robotic. It sounded soulless. It sounded like, girl, you need to go back to the cutting room floor and cut a new version of this song because it's going to give me, like, yes and. When we heard yes and, it was like, Ariana, I know this is not your first single. This is such a basic ass dance track. We was expecting more from you. Same thing with Katie. Like you have a lot riding on this and I get it that the reason why she would probably be working with a Dr. Luke because 
Who was she without him? She tried working with other producers. She when she did Witness, y'all didn't care. Nobody bought the album. She's been flopping for a while, which is why she had to retreat to Vegas and do the residency for all them years. And and you know, making $25 million a season on American Idol. So now here she is with this. And then of course, Kesha heard about it <laughs> and responded with the following. LOL. <laughs> so that was her response. So yeah, Kesha's Kesh out here and said that was like, damn girl, it, you damn near laughable. This is kind of pathetic on your part. And I do feel like me as a person looking at someone's career, this is not the smart move for you to work with Kesh, with uh, Dr. Luke. I know there's some people who don't have a choice because they're under contract like a Kim Petras. Because Kim Petras, you know, Dr. Luke been working on a lot of her stuff. She's under contract because she's on his label. So what can she do? When a lot of times y'all sell y'all sign these shitty ass contracts, sometimes these are the hands that y'all are dealt. So I say all this to say, what do you guys think of this story? Um, is it a problem? Like, is it a how do I phrase this? Is it sort of like an Achilles heel for y'all that if you're a, a, an artist that you like works with someone? who has a nasty reputation of, you know, the accusations that he's been accused of. Dr. Luke has been accused of SA. He's been in and out of courts with Kesha over the years. So um, the fact that he's still out here producing tracks and stuff, I know it rubs people the wrong way. But I'm curious to hear, like, what do you guys think of this story? Let me know in the comments down below.